Welcome to Installer Guru, where we make installation easy for you. Today, we're going to create our very own FTP server using FileZilla. First, what is FTP and why do we need it? FTP, File Transfer Protocol, is a standard network protocol used for transferring files from one host to another over a TCP-based network, such as the Internet. FTP works by opening two connections that link the computers trying to communicate with each other. An FTP port is a communication endpoint that allows data transfer between a computer and a server. Today, we will use FileZilla, a free and open-source cross-platform FTP application, consisting of both FileZilla client and FileZilla server. Clients are available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. First, we need to visit the official FileZilla website. Here, you will find two download options, one for the server and the other for the client. Since we are setting up the server first, we will choose the server application. After downloading the application, run it with administrative privileges. Now, let's follow the installation wizard instructions. First, we will choose the installation type. We'll go with a full installation, but you can customize it as needed. Next, select the Installation Destination folder and click Next. Now, check the Install Services Start type. You can run the FileZilla Server Services as the Windows Default System User Account, or you can set a custom user if required. Next, set the Admin Interface Port Number. We'll leave it as default and set the Administrative Password. Then, choose the Admin Interface Start type and click Install. After successful installation, you will see your server's TLS fingerprint for FTP data encryption. Now click on Connect to the Server and enter the admin password we created during installation. You can also save the password for faster access to the admin interface. In the admin interface, you'll find a log viewer along with a settings menu. In the server menu, we have the main configuration page where we can set up users and FTP directories. In server listeners, you can configure the FTP protocol and port number. Under protocol settings, you can set the TLS version and certificate for data security, as well as define the port range limits. In the rights management section, you can create groups and users along with data mount points. For this demo, we're creating a folder in my D drive which will be used for this FTP user. You can also adjust the read and write permissions for this path. You can set allowed and disallowed IP ranges and establish bandwidth limits for this user for uploads and downloads on this FTP server. You can obtain a public certificate from Let's Encrypt. Finally, we have successfully set up the FTP server. My server's local IP address is 172.23.64.145. Now we will connect to this server in our Windows Explorer by entering FTP slash slash 172.23.64.145 and hitting Enter. It will then ask for a username and password. Enter the username and password we created earlier in the FTP user configuration. Now you can see that I can create a folder and upload files to this FTP server. Additionally, ensure you check the firewall rules for internal and external traffic and make sure port number 21 is open and active. If you want to access this server from the public internet, you'll need to set up NAT or port forwarding on your router or firewall. You can also perform FTP uploads and downloads using the FileZilla client application. Simply download the application from the official website, install it on your computer, and connect to the FTP server using the FTP host and username. Here, you can easily download files from the FTP server and upload files from your computer to the server. That's all for now. Thank you for spending your valuable time with us. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends.